How to use a pointy tutorial for beginners. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a pointy. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and call it go to pointy.com or you can simply click the link on the description below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which from here, it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Appointee, it is an appointment scheduling and online booking software platform designed to help businesses and professionals manage their appointments, bookings, and services, in which it offers a range of features and tools that make it easier for clients and customers to schedule appointments with service providers. So some of the features that this platform provide, including appointment scheduling, online booking, calendar integration, reminders and notifications, and many more. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail. We have here pre-plan, growth, professional, and enterprise plan. And below, it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. But in those options of plans, I'm going to choose the pre-plan, since it also offers the basic feature that I also need. And below here, if you have other question or concern, just go to this frequently asked question section right here and it will show you some of the question with a corresponding answer. And now to proceed using the free plan, kindly proceed by clicking the sign up button on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it from here, just fill out all of the required information and proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, just enter your username and also generate your own password to get started for free. And after clicking the button below, you will be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to select your answer to the question, what best describes your business? So I'm going to choose individual and proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, from here, it will ask you what type of services do you provide? So let's say I'm going to choose health and fitness. And for the specific health and fitness services, I'm going to choose yoga. So kind of search on it, yoga and click on it, then proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, from here, the next thing that you need to do is to enter the service title and the duration of the yoga or the services, and also the price and the capacity of it. And aside from that, if you also want to add additional service, you can do so by simply clicking Add Service button below here. And now, after filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking the next button to continue. And after that, from here, you could also add business hours to let customers know when you're open. So as you can see, my business schedule are only from Monday to Friday and available at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But you could also customize or edit this time if you want to. And by simply clicking the next button, you will be directed in here. And all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, such as your business name, and after that below, you also need or require to enter your business location. We have here address, your country, your region, your city, and even your postal ID or zip code. And after filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking the next button below to continue. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which you will see here the quick start guide, such as the preview for your booking portal, in which you can see what your portal or booking portal look like. And aside from that, you could also see here to configure appointee if required, in which you will see here if all the services that your business offers included on this portal. And aside from that, you will also see here on how you make a portal, in which you have the two choices here, which is to add business logo and also customize emails. And lastly, you will be able to understand the toolbar in here, in which it will show you a quick introduction to the appointee toolbar, in which you will see here some of the options that you could also navigate. And now, going back to the first one, which is preview your booking portal, in which from here, you will see what your customers will see when they come to look an appointment through your booking portal. And from here, it will show you what it looks like. And we have here the calendar, and you will see on the top the services that you offer, including the duration of it, and also your name. So this is what the customers will actually will see. And as you can see, we are currently available only from Monday to Friday. And aside from that, you'll also see on the top of it 
the price of these services. So now, let's try to click any of the available dates and by selecting a time that we are available or we want to book an appointment for these services, you will be directed in here in which the customers must fill out all of the required information such as their email address and after clicking next below, they are also required to enter their first name, last name, and also their password. So those are the things that our customers need to fill out in order to set an appointment or book for our services. And aside from that, on the right side panel, you could also navigate here or customize the category, service, stuff, and also select date or time. And you will also see on the right side panel, the link to your booking portal, and you can integrate it to your website. Now going back to this page right here, which is the number two of the quick start guide, is configure a point D if required. In which from here, you will also see that you can add a stop, services, and location, or you can click the circle right here to allow customers to book appointments without having to create an account. Or you could also choose to set up an intake form to take additional details from customers while booking an appointment. By enabling here, you can simply add a field. So for example, I'm going to enter here age, and under the type, I'm going to select number. So that means the customers also need to fill out their age before setting up an appointment for our services. So I'm going to turn this on to make it required and proceed by clicking add button below to proceed. And now going back to this page right here, we can now proceed to the number three guide, which is make the portal yours. And in those options, I'm going to select customize email and from here, it will show you some of the email notifications that are automatically sent to customers when specific events occur. We have here reminder alert prior to appointment, waiting for approval, appointment approve, appointment cancellation, and many more. Now going back to this page, on the number 4 which is understand the toolbar, it will show you what you can also navigate the toolbar on the left side panel that you will use in starting to use the Pointy platform. Now by clicking OK Got It button, you will now be directed on the dashboard of a pointy in which by clicking the plus button on the toolbar, it will give you an option to add an appointment services, staff, customer, location, gift card, discount, and also block date or time. And by selecting appointment, it will show you a pop-up window. From here to set an appointment, you can simply enter the date, select time, and select customer. And aside from that, under the plus button, you will be able to also generate a gift card, discount coupon, block date or time, and also input your customer, full name, email address, mobile, and other info. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the left side panel some of the options, including this calendar right here, by simply clicking on it. From here, it will show you your appointments for each day. And aside from that, under this dashboard on the toolbar, from here, it will show you the amount of appointments, your estimated sales, your new customers, and also the percentage of your satisfaction. And you can track it down under this dashboard that you can find in the toolbar and with other options that you could also navigate. So that is just how you can use Appointee. Thank you.